Greetings once again. I'm John, and we're going to do uh, Three's Company, Honest Jack Tripper, Season 5, Episode 22, air date May 19th, 1981, Bell on a Tuesday. Starring John Ritter, Joyce DeWitt, Suzanne Summers, Richard Klein, and Don Knotts. Wait a minute, hold it, hold it. I want to tell you a little about the path and history of the location they are on. Some of you younger people will probably be surprised to learn that the Santa Monica Pier was three times the size. Take a look and see the path that they took. And what will be their final destination? Okay, now roll it. The show starts off with a lighting error. It seems as though there's a skylight over the front door. And we all know that's not true. This blooper lasts 4 minutes and 37 seconds long. And because I like my viewers to have that one last chance to find the blooper, you'll find that there's quite a bit of video in this one. This episode centers on Jack's lying. Jack isn't a vicious liar, he's just a horny one. Jack asks Janet and Cindy if he can have the apartment to himself because he's told a lie to this girl, ooh, no, I mean a woman, that he lives alone. Jack's date is an interior decorator. Jack lies again, asking her about some interior decorating advice. Of course, all he really wants is for her to decorate his sofa and to be there beside her when she does. But Janet and Cindy are not leaving. They are planning to go to bed after a very bad date with a pair of brothers, and they're not in the mood to help Jack with his lie. Mr. Furley comes over, asking Janet to feed his turtle and take care of his apartment. But eventually, Jack sees this as an opportunity for a vacant apartment and decides he's going to use Mr. Furley's apartment while he is away. Jack manages to get the keys, claiming he can take care of the turtle, but he really wants to take this woman, Lisa, to an empty apartment to further cover his lie that he lives alone. Janet and Cindy leave the room. Mr. Furley asks Jack if he can find him a girl to date because he's desperate and hasn't been with anyone for two years. Ouch. Mr. Furley goes on his trip. This allows Jack to use Mr. Furley's apartment and bring Lisa over so he can be alone with her there, since Janet and Cindy won't leave their apartment. But Mr. Furley comes home unexpectedly and finds Jack with a girl, Lisa. Now Jack has to cover two lies. One, that he brought this girl home for Mr. Furley, and two, for the girl that thinks that Jack lives alone. But before Mr. Furley starts catching on, Jack hurries her out and he goes back up with Lisa to his apartment where he hopes Janet and Cindy have gone to bed as they said they would. But in the end, Jack is caught in another lie and Lisa finds out that he has two roommates, Janet and Cindy. Well, the next morning, Jack vows to both Janet and Cindy he's never going to lie again. He's going to start telling the truth. But this gets Jack in some trouble with Larry who was trying to put the make on a girl. And Jack, in his quest to tell no lies, tells the girl the truth. Shortly after, Jack runs in to Lisa at the Regal Beagle, and he apologizes sincerely to her and tells her that he's turning over a new leaf, never to lie again. Well, Lisa forgives Jack, and she asks him to look over some of her sketches for interior decorating, and Jack kind of gives it a thumbs down, and of course, Lisa's not happy about that, so she belts him over the head and doesn't want to see him anymore. Jack returns to the apartment. This is where the blooper begins. Now watch closely. I'm not going to point it out until the very end of the video. See if you catch it. Janet and Cindy start passing empty compliments back and forth, but Jack kind of tells them, hey, tell the truth. Jack starts spilling the beans to Janet, some of the things that Cindy has told him. And then Jack starts telling Cindy some of the things that Janet has told him. I'm crazy about it. <laughs> you are? Yeah. It's lovely on you, Cindy. Thanks, Janet. Sure. Why don't you tell her the truth, Janet? Jack. <laughs> Janet, if you don't like 
I wish you'd tell me, because I think you have real good taste. Wait, wait. Oh, Cindy, that's not what you told me last week. <laughs> <laughs> and he's telling them they should tell the truth and be honest. Of course, this leads both girls to get mad at each other. What did you tell him last week, Cindy? Nothing. Oh, come on, Cindy. You told me you hated that plaid dress Janet was wearing. I did not. Then what did you say, Cindy? <laughs> uh, I said I didn't like it for me. But it's all right for someone with... <laughs> with... <laughs> with short legs, go ahead. <laughs> short legs? Janet, I didn't mean... Short legs? Well, let me tell you something about my legs. They are not short. They are not long. They are just right. <laughs> but perhaps somebody with legs like a giraffe might not notice that. <laughs> what do you call it a giraffe? If the legs fit... Well... <laughs> you see, this is great. This is wonderful. What? No, no, it's wonderful that you two are finally being completely honest with each other. Oh, shut up! Hey, you have not lived here long enough to talk to him like that. Shut up! <laughs> Girls, you're, you're acting like children. I am not. You are, too. Uh, well, if that's how you feel, Cindy, perhaps you'd like to shop around for a more mature roommate? Yeah, one that's full-grown. <laughs> You're upset, but I still say that honesty is the best policy, and I will say that to my dying day. The way you're going, that's bound to be tomorrow. Uh, Jack, what happened? When Mr. Furley comes in, he wants to know where his dream girl, Lisa, is. You can see Jack has forgotten that commitment when he introduced Mr. Furley to Lisa. Mr. Furley explains that he's been waiting for her call all day. He came home last night feeling so miserable like no one loves him. And she made him realize how desirable he really is. <laughs> anyway, sticking with his tell no lies, Jack explains to Mr. Furley, I've got to be honest and tell you what Lisa really felt about you. He explains, she didn't really like you. You can see Janet and Cindy starting to cringe because they know that Jack is getting ready to tell him the truth. Lisa didn't really like you. She didn't? No. She... Oh, no. Uh, she... She loved you. But Jack, being the kind soul that he is, Jack sees telling the truth to Mr. Furley is going to hurt him. So he lies, saying she loves you, but she vowed never to lay eyes on you again, never to speak to you again. <laughs> Mr. Furley, it, it was through tears that she told me about it, his tragic illness, his total dependence on her. As Mr. Furley's head starts to swell, Jack continues his lie, saying, She'd leave him in a minute for you, but she knows that would be the end of him. Lisa is miserable. Miserable, huh? That's so sad. <laughs> she has to leave you with is a memory. Listen, Buster, that's not exactly day old bread. <laughs> poor kid, if I'd known the whole story, I wouldn't have turned on the old pizzazz. Okay, well, Mr. Furley seems to be okay with this, but Jack isn't, saying, that is the worst lie I have ever told. And after all my preaching... Okay, girls, let me have it. Now back to the point of showing you this whole video. Did you catch the blooper? It was right in front of your eyes through that whole video. This time, as I play the video half that matter, in Fast Forward, watch Jack's bedroom door.
How many of you noticed this when seeing this episode for the very first time? Or for that matter, in reruns? <laughs> I'd love to read your comments down below in the description box. Hey, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.